So turning our gaze now to our city's urban spaces, our next guests have their feet firmly planted on the ground, their fingers in the soil. It's Fresh Roots. So Fresh Roots is a community organization building educational farms where young students can dig into some really meaningful connections. So with us today is Alexa Petoulis, She's the executive director, and Fiona Sutherland is with us as well. Fiona is a Fresh Roots alumnus. Fiona, Alexis, welcome to you both. Thanks so much Thank for having us. Much. Tell me about this Fresh Roots. Well, Fresh Roots really believes that all kids and people should have access to clean food, land, and community. And so we really do this by showing what's possible through schoolyard farms, where youth have opportunities for learning, not just about growing food, but also developing leadership skills, job readiness skills, and, um, and volunteering. Love it. Okay, Fiona, tell me a little bit about your experience with Fresh Roots. Yeah, so I uh, started at, with, with the soil program in uh, 20, summer 2019. Um, and I moved through that from uh, being a participant to being a mentor in 2020 and back again, 2021. I loved it so much. Um, and 2022, I've joined our um, staff team as a camp, summer camp counselor at Camp Fresh Roots. What do you love about it? I mean, I, I can see what you've got laid out here in front of me, but I'd like to hear it in your words. Yeah, so I think the number one thing for me is just the community that comes with it. Everybody is so positive and supporting, and we all and everybody just encourages each other to be our best version of ourselves. It's a super inclusive space, especially growing up, you know, as a queer teenager. It's so nice to have people who fully see you for who you are. Lovely. Well, I really like to hear that. Okay, and you've got a fundraising campaign underway, Alexa. We do. So we're just in the middle of our Make It So summer long fundraising campaign where we're aiming to raise $75,000 by September 6th. And all of those contributions, no matter what, you know, what amount the donation, go directly to our ability to be able to support getting kids and youth into, into growing spaces, growing food, and growing themselves in the process. I love this idea. And where do you grow and where do you teach? So we are now located, we started it with the first schoolyard farm in Canada in 2013 at Vancouver Technical Secondary here and um, the very quickly after was David Thompson Secondary in Vancouver and we are now also at um, Coquitlam at the Suwalk School and Delta near Boundary Bay at Farm Roots Mini School. Dare I say you're growing? <laughs> yeah, you're yes, growing. All, in you're all growing. ways, yes. Can we get to what you brought in here today? Well, this looks, oh, this looks pretty exciting. What is this? Absolutely. So the kids and youth and all the programs, we actually in 2021 grew over 280 crop varieties. And so this is a kohlrabi um, that is, you know, very accessible in grocery stores, but lots of people don't know about it. It's an underrated vegetable. Wouldn't you agree, Fiona? I would absolutely right. agree. Right. So oh, this kohlrabi. is one that's cropped up and we've got a piece here for you to try this is kohlrabi. right there. So you've, you've peeled it. We this did is... peel it on this. Some kohlrabi is with a different skin, not as tough. You can definitely mm. eat the skin as is. I think what it's quite think? delicious. It's got a little bit of a, um, what was I going to say, turnip comes to mind? A little bit Absolutely. of a turnip flavor? It, some uh, of the kids love it. They like it. It's oh, almost, I like some it. Some of it can be very sweet. Mm -hmm. um, it can be great in, grated in salads. Right. Fresh. You can I mean, also be great in a coleslaw it. too, exactly. right? Mixed mm -hmm. in with the cabbage. That's very beautiful. versatile. So you can cook it? You cook can it. cook it. I do roast mm. it. I, throw, I roast yeah. it and eat it raw. Oh, it's raw. often compared to a, uh, an apple by our kids. <laughs> It's beautiful. Yeah. I mean, I mean, it's beautiful, the color and all the rest <laughs> of it. And what else? Now, this looks like a radish. What's this? That is our salad turnip. So it's got sort of a bit of like a more sweet, earthy flavor. Salad turnip. Salad so turnip. isn't that funny? Yeah. I was thinking that this was this had a little bit of a <laughs> And you brought, you've cut this yeah. up for me. Thank you very much for preparing all of this, too. Good vegetables. We've we got also got these. Oh, go ahead. Oh, sorry. We've also got um, our signature Fresh Roots mm. uh, dressing here. So if you'd like to try, it's just like a simple salad dressing that we throw on most of the stuff we make with with okay. Our youth. Yeah. And what about this one here? This beautiful little purple this one, baby. Um, he's got a pretty funny name. It's called Graffiti Cauliflower. Um, and yeah, very gorgeous. It, the taste uh, is not affected by the color. At least really? Really? Okay. Can I? Should I yeah, dip? Oh, maybe. Am I gonna try it? Yeah. Try it. Mm, absolutely lovely. I love. I love raw vegetables anyway. I love doing that. So tell me about the preserves. What's yeah, the so here? here this is our um, our zucchini relish, mm -hmm. and this is our raspberry jam. Our soil youth both made these um, last year, I believe. And so we make these with uh, chefs directly. We have chefs come in and work with the youth to uh, produce these. And the labels here uh, are designed by our soil youth. If you, I don't know if you can see, but we have these that have been uh, hand-drawn. 
by some of our participants. I love those. So this is zucchini relish. Is yeah. that what's put? That's right there. Yeah. A little bit of this yeah. on the kohlrabi. Is that a good idea? Oh, that's a good idea. <laughs> Absolutely. Mmm. That's got a good kick. That's Probably. Deli now, do you <laughs> use these for fundraisers as well? We do. And so we actually do uh, run four weekly markets throughout the growing season. We have uh, we are on Wednesdays. We're at the Italian Cultural Centre in Vancouver. Uh, Thursdays, we're at the Suwalk School in Coquitlam, as well as the Delta at Farm Roots in Boundary Bay. And Saturdays, we're at Vancouver Farmers Market at Riley Park. As I you say, see growing. it's wonderful to see that. Thank you so much for bringing in such a, a bounty today. And I'll, all the best to you both for the rest of the growing season. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much, much for having us in. Yes.